Hello there, this is Carolyn Rosenblatt at AgingInvestor.com. I have a description for you of AgingInvestor.com's 10-step policy development template. This is a sort of a kit to help you get started. You can use it to do what the SEC and FINRA have been urging you to do for years. That is, create your own senior-specific policy. The first section is an introduction and an explanation of how your policy will help you maintain professionalism and confidentiality as hallmarks of how you manage your aging clients. The second section is about who should participate in policy development itself and what qualifications are needed to address the senior issues that will become a part of your policy. The third section takes you through the actual process steps in bringing the policy to life. These include the following. Step 1. That's a description of the team that writes the policy and tells you who should participate. Step 2 tells you how to create a statement of purpose for your policy. We offer you examples that you could just adapt as is, or you can create your own statement of purpose tailored to your organization. Or your individual needs. Step 3 tells you how to create a checklist of red flag aging client behaviors. These tell you what action on your part is needed. They walk you through the specific behaviors that should be on your checklist and explain all of them in detail. Step by step these will help you create a plan for where you will take the problem of a client who has these red flag behaviors. We give you a form for identifying and documenting these things and recording your own comments. We suggest trigger points. When should you escalate the client issue with these red flag behaviors? We help you do that as a part of your policy. Step 5 tells you how to create a specific plan for escalating your issue. It offers you choices about what should be done with the escalation and we also suggest what your compliance, legal, and risk managers can do with a client whose matter has been raised for their consideration. Step 5 is closely connected to Step 6. Step 6 is a description of how to address your client's privacy concerns. This is a very important matter and you need a special document to help you do that. We give you that model document. It's a combination of a power of attorney and a privacy document that will allow you to contact a third party and it describes for you under what circumstances that would be permitted by your client. All of that is built into the document. We also describe how to manage a client who won't sign such a document even if asked to do so. In Step 7, we offer a plan for how to approach a client with difficult information that, well, this may be the time that she needs to allow an appointed third party to step in. We suggest the wording of a script for talking to the client respectfully about this. In Step 8, we offer suggestions for your policy about how to enhance protections for aging investors, such as types and frequency of audits and reviews. We also suggest developing additional ethical standards specifically formulated for aging investors. We describe how they should include what to do if you see or suspect financial abuse of your aging client by anyone. In Step 9, we recommend how to work with objections to putting your policy in place for yourself and your organization. Not everyone may buy into this and we tell you how to get around that problem. And finally, in Step 10, we make recommendations about how to train everyone every client-facing person to implement your new policy. So to summarize, the 10-step policy development template is a kit. It offers you model documents. These include your client behavior checklist and reporting form, your power of attorney and privacy document, and your form to use if a client refuses to sign the power of attorney and privacy document. At AgingInvestor.com, we know you will find this an invaluable guide. I and Dr. Davis, my partner here, are available to demonstrate how to use your template and train your team in implementation. This is an excellent way to prevent elder abuse and to protect yourself, 
and your organization from any failure to comply with what the regulators want you to do about your senior investors. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye now.